Well, good afternoon, everyone, or maybe good morning or evening, depending where you're joining us from. Welcome here to the Launchpad and our live coverage of the JAXA static fire test of their brand new H3 rocket in Japan. We are now counting down roughly about 27 minutes until they test the H3 launch vehicle, an expendable launch vehicle that's been in development in Japan. It's a liquid propellant rocket with strap on solid rocket boosters and we are expecting a 25 second static fire test here today. We're uh, currently zoomed in at the the top portion of the h3 rocket the rocket stands a total of 63 meters tall or 207 feet with a diameter of 5.27 meters or 17.3 feet it's a two-stage rocket capable of carrying 4,000 kilograms up to a sun synchronous orbit or up to 7,900 kilograms into a geo transfer orbit uh, it's currently in manufacturing the first flight was expected to take place this year but as we're approaching the end of the year that may also ultimately slip into early 2023. The first launch was originally scheduled to take place on January 21st of this year, but it was scheduled uh, until later in the year, uh, citing technical problems regarding the first stage's LE9 engine. Testing began of the LE9 engine back in April 2017, uh, so they've been working on this for uh, over five years now and are uh, definitely wanting to see this uh, vehicle get up and running. There are quite a few uh, planned launches already for it. with 27 confirmed payloads already on the itinerary between now and 2029, uh, including a uh, collection of uh, IGS optical and radar satellites, as well as some other uh, payloads as well. The first two missions uh, that will be the test flights are expected to launch from Launchpad 2 at the Tangashima launch complex or space center uh, in Japan. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Uh, and that's what we'll be expecting to see with the H322S variant of the H3 rocket. But uh, there are a number of others uh, planned there, 27 already listed with payloads. If it's your first time here, though, welcome here at the Launchpad. It's our mission to inform and inspire the explorers of tomorrow because we believe that space is better together, and we're glad to have you here. Faze, thanks so much for continuing to be a member. And John, thank you so much for that super chat there. I uh, really appreciate that support. helps us bring you best possible coverage we can of everything space. If it's your first time here, though, welcome. Make sure you engage that subscribe button so you never miss another live launch coverage, space briefing, space news update, or exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview. Of course, we are all counting down to the Artemis launch window. We've got our 24-7 pad camera up and running, so you can take a look at what's happening in Florida as we also monitor the weather of a possible hurricane in development. Uh, we've had good weather for a month and a bit after Hurricane Ian, and of course, the day it rolls back out, Invest 98L develops. So we are keeping a close eye on that. Uh, for the Artemis test campaign and hopefully orbital flight test uh, or lunar flight test uh, and we'll hopefully be able to bring that to you live. Our team's all packing up, getting ready to head down there over the course of this week uh, and we'll bring you that live coverage there. If you're just joining us though, welcome. We are about just under 24 minutes away from an expected 25 second static fire test of Japan's new H3 rocket uh, at the Japanese launch complex. If you guys have questions, you can send those to us in the chat by taking us at the launch pad, and we'll work on answering those to the best of our ability. Of course, we'll run through all the YouTube things. If you haven't followed us yet over on Twitter, make sure you do so. That's where we live tweet space news as it happens. TLPN underscore official links in the chat there. Consider joining us over on the TLP Discord. It's free to join. Uh, and in the Discord, that's where our community hangs out pretty much 24-7. You get notified about new articles on TLPnetwork.com. You also get notified of new launch streams or test streams like today where this was a last minute one uh, for us but we're glad to be able to bring it to you and uh, we are counting down to that 100,000 subscriber mark we've got two streams scheduled the final countdown and then a celebration which will be when our team's down in Florida uh, we are so grateful for your guys support and getting us here in less than two years it's been a journey and uh, we promise that this is just the beginning we've got lots of exciting projects underway uh, and we're only able to do that thanks to your guys' support and watching and sharing uh, and in financially supporting if you haven't yet, though, take a moment, engage that like button on today's stream and consider sharing it out. We don't get to see these static fire tests near as often as we used to with Starship, so it's always nice to see one with another launch vehicle as well. 
I'm going to be popping on and off with commentary updates as we go through this. We are waiting for Jackson to begin their official live feed. And once we do have that, we will patch them in as well. So stay with us right here on the launch pad as we count down now 22 minutes, 20 seconds and counting until a static fire test of Japan's new H3 rocket. Stay with us. And if you're just joining us, welcome here to the launch pad and our live coverage of the static fire test of Japan's new H3 rocket. We just got an update uh, from JAXA. We are counting down 18 minutes, 40 seconds uh, and counting, but uh, we have now had an update that they are delaying their uh, static fire test until 4 p.m. local time. It is now 7.11 a.m. local time in Japan. So we are going to have a large delay here for today's static fire test. So what we're going to do is we're going to wrap this feed uh, up right away and then we will be back uh, for possibly another live coverage of the static fire test later today. Uh, so we hope you will join us for now, but that's going to do it for our almost static fire testing of Jax's new H3A or H3 rocket. Make sure you engage that subscribe button so you never miss another live launch coverage, space briefing, space news update, or exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview. But this is Zach signing off.